Welcome to episode 73 of Two Ninjas One Podcast. I'm Will, also known as Ninja. I'm JD, also known as Ninja. You know your name. And tonight. <laughs> Did I say my name wrong? <laughs> I, you really, it took too long. You now didn't know who you guessing. were. <laughs> no. Damn me. I've been in me for 31 years. I, I think I know. They call me I, out. They call me <laughs> No, you need to stop. <laughs> Please. It's on tonight. It's... Introduce yourself, sir. My name is Mike, also known as Caspo. That's not my name. Okay, I had to get it out. <laughs> Welcome, Mike. Is How it, y'all doing tonight? Your system? It is, for now. Who knows what songs will break out tonight. Give me some I, Britney Spears. No, that, wasn't, that was the Ting Ting. No, don't give me <laughs> any ideas. Please. Just... No space. <laughs> okay, so we're. <laughs> Damn it, Ninja. People are going to stop listening to us because you're going to keep singing. Oh, look at you dancing. Right, I'll don't cheer them on. <laughs> so we're, we're actually doing this one kind of early because there's a lot of stuff that's happening throughout the, the end of this week. But there was a lot yes. of hot topics that happened throughout this week and that we should probably get into before it turns pretty stale. Yeah, because yep. well, the reason we're recording early is because somebody's going to Comic Palooza this weekend. Must be nice. For yeah. the record, that's that's me. Yeah, I'm going. I can't because I'm being a good husband. And it's my wife's birthday this weekend. Oh. <laughs> Plus, last time I tried to go, I got stuck in Newark. That sucked. <laughs> that... <laughs> yeah, last year's Comic Palooza, I was supposed to fly out on my wife's birthday. She drove me up to Newark Airport. My flight got canceled. And she had to drive back to Newark Airport at 11 at night to pick me up. <laughs> In closing, yeah. fuck Southwest. <laughs> Jeff, go all the way. But if Southwest gives me free tickets, Southwest is good for me. Yes. Perfect. You can buy our loyalty. <laughs> like the rest of America. Word. All right. So what we're we talking about. Oh, yeah. Okay. Stuff from the weekend. Okay. Stuff from the weekend. The, the big, big, hot topic news that we were that we're all discussing is the works of YouTube buying out Twitch. Rumors and speculation. At Rumors, this yes. It's still rumored, I and mean, this is we're recording on what, Wednesday? Yes, for a Dr. Evil sum of money. <laughs> I can't believe you really did that. Let's throw. Um, so for $1 billion? Mm-hmm. Oh, we need a sound effect. <laughs> okay. Yeah, $1 billion. YouTube and Google got that silly money. They got that fuck you money that they're like, here, take this. So what does that mean for the gaming community? What, is uh, it, what does that mean for the rest of the world in the gaming community? I think uh, there's going to be more charges being added. That's my thought. Uh, I think uh, I think there's just going to be a lot of charges being added to more subscribers, too. I know uh, whenever you're watching people on there, you got to also uh, pay for subscriptions to, I guess, if you want to view certain people on there. Uh, yeah, you can either follow them or you or, can subscribe and then get like an ad-free experience and all this other stuff. So that's my point. I think there's going to be more charges. That's just Google. I I think there's going to be a lot more ads to it. It's going to be a very cohesive look of YouTube in your Twitch. You get you're going to get your YouTubes and your Twitches in in there. So as soon as you click on an uh, a feed that you want to see, you'll probably get a 30 second to a minute ad, and then you'll see an ad across the bottom of it that you have to unclick yeah, from the yeah, annotation. Yeah. And then you're going to misclick it, and you're going to go right to that you know that stupid Pirate 101 game that they keep advertising that nobody ever plays uh, except your, your five-year-olds. Listen, I can't talk about that game. I don't even know about it. You installed it. I know that face. I didn't oh. install it. I thought about it. Why? I thought about well, it like a couple years ago. How do you think ago. about children's games? No, because the kids were like, oh, I want to play this game. And then I'm like, no, there's better games. I installed it, played it, and then uninstalled it. <laughs> you know what I did install one time? I installed Free Realms. Oh. That was terrible. That was a horrible game. <laughs> it was terrible. 
I, I all right. So is, I guess we're gonna go to our, our guild trips. I installed. No, I didn't install anything. I just played the Flash games on the Adult Swim sites and the Cartoon <laughs> Network sites. Yeah, but you know, we both installed PlayStation Home. <laughs> yeah, sadly the, enough. The Dead Eye Simulator. Oh, I play. I, I installed that too myself, man. I don't even. I still don't know. It's still in beta. <laughs> <laughs> the PlayStation 3 is done. I don't understand. I don't know what the point of that is. Dead uh, eyes. All it was was like, you ever see that movie Gamer with Gerard Butler? I did not. Really? Passed. Passed. That was actually a decent movie. But there's one point, like, he's in the action <laughs> game part. I actually thought you were going to go with a bad story about this, but go on. No, it's actually a decent <laughs> But the PlayStation Home reminds me of the Sims part of Gamer, where the guy's wife is trapped, and Milo Ventimiglia tries to date rape her. That's the part, that's what PlayStation Home reminds me of. Gamer date rape. The movie, not real Gamer date rape. Gotta clarify. Oh, because there is a real difference between fake Gamer date rape. Well, there is. You know what, no, I'm really thinking about it, that's really horrible. Yeah, see, how dare you say that? You think people found love on PlayStation Home? Yeah. <laughs> That's the love. <laughs> I don't know. You know what? I'm sure... This, people... is, this is just PlayStation love. This is just all that's happening. <laughs> They're scissoring? Yes. <laughs> There's just scissoring controllers. Scissoring and noodling. You don't know the meaning of that. I think I got it right this time. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I'm sure people have met on PlayStation Home. I mean, people have met in EverQuest. One of uh, Chad, who comes on Conversing the Ninjaverse every now and then, he met his wife in a mud, like, years ago. So. I, I guess, I don't know, video game love is pretty much like a lottery. It's, or... it's fucking rare. It's yeah. like a, it's like a, it's a <laughs> Relationships is a rare drop. You have to <laughs> keep playing it and able to get it. Yeah, and keep grinding away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's IRL love. <laughs> oh, so. gaming love, gaming love. Yes. All right, but okay, yeah. So, so where? How do we get from there? From YouTube and Twitch to fucking ads dead, and dead eyes ads. PlayStation. Oh, that's right. Ads. So I, I really think that's what it's gonna be. And uh, we were me and Ninja just watched the SourceFed video and what their take on it was. I want his TARDIS and... pajamas. <laughs> They uh they said that they're probably gonna shove you know the Google Plus aspect of it into Twitch and you know how much that doesn't work out so well. And... Other than Google Hangout, that's the only thing I use Google Plus for. Yeah, I mean this this, show. this cohesive space is pretty cool. Everything else is not really that bad. And even this space, I can't make little funny faces anymore, so I don't <laughs> even know what the point of it is. <laughs> the early days of Google Hangout were great. Yeah, and the the Wild West of the Google apps. <laughs> when you can put the troll face on. <laughs> I miss that. I, I know. know. And it's there. It teases you. If you go to the Hangout box, it's just grayed out. You can't do it. It pisses me off every time. <sighs> but you can do shit like this. I know. That's a, that's fucking scary. Don't ever do it again. Don't do not don't do there ever again. <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll, I'll put something on PC just because this totally there makes sense. <laughs> awesome. You need two eye patches. All right, two glass eyes. <laughs> <laughs> but we're, we're shooting it off way okay. off the topic again. Okay. We're a bunch of kids in in kindergarten. That's because it's late and we're retarded. <laughs> you you're just coming points to that. Um, so I think this could be a pretty good move. I mean, I we're in bed with. YouTube, so maybe streaming our stuff, maybe streaming from Twitch and going on to YouTube, maybe that's an easier way of getting things done. Oh my god, we can be a Twitch talk show. Oh. I'm, that's what I'm trying to do with this show. I know, the wheels are turning. It's perfect. I know. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, moving on. Oh, you exhaust me. <laughs> <laughs> Your face exhausts me. Anyway, um, Mike, what have you been playing? Uh, recently, Battlefield. Uh, Battlefield that's... Four. Battlefield Four. It's all okay. about that. Uh, War. Love Battlefield Four, man. It's probably to me one of the best FPS shooters out there. 
I know I'm going to get a lot of hate on that. But nope, I'm right with you. I know it still feels somewhat broken, but I love it. I think it's a perfect all-around shooter. I love um, vehicles. I love vehicles. Uh, I was just done playing it just a few minutes ago before uh, we started this. Um, I couldn't. I can't. I can't even explain to you how many things that are so right about Battlefield 4 compared to a lot of other first-person shooters out there right now, man. Um, I don't know, you, JD, what's your... I know you're a big COD guy, too. Yeah, I, I am. But this the last iteration of COD has has turned stale on me. Terrible. Very broken. Very broken. The, the, way peop, the way the game is played is so much different from what I was used to. It's not fun anymore. You have to be more tactical. And... We try to be tactical, but it's like... Tactical it's, it's trying to be tactical no, with an arcade shooter. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Yeah. I like the days where it was like, oh shit, there's grenades. Oh Rock. shit, there's smoke grenades everywhere. <laughs> okay, so Mike, let me tell you the story about how me and Ninja really started playing Call of Duty. Oh, we played. We had our own meta game. <laughs> <laughs> we we played on Call of Duty two, way back on the Xbox 360. Was it 360? It was. It was the fr- it was the launch title for the 360. Okay. It was it was on 360, and there was this little map where it was just maybe just a handful of buildings, in the dark, and there was a wheelbarrow in the middle middle of it. That's all I remember, because you know what? It doesn't even matter anymore because we would only load people's defaults with shotguns and smoke grenades. <laughs> what the? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We would, everyone would mass throw smoke grenades and it would lag up the, the server so badly it would disconnect us. But for the times that we were playing, you wouldn't know you were shooting someone until they headbutted you. Yep. <laughs> nice. People, people would be like, stop throwing smoke grenades. You're like, no! <laughs> Fuck that noise! Wow! You can shoot in the middle of the darkness. You'd still hit someone. Yep. <laughs> There was two maps that we loved on that. There was that map, which we used to call One Night in Baghdad, but I don't think that's what the map was. No. And then there was another map where there was a barn and a bunker. Everybody always used sniper rifles. I was the one asshole with a shotgun. So in when the they bunker. ran... Yeah, in the bunker. So if someone ran through the bunker, they were in my house. <laughs> shotgun to the face. Yep. I, every, everybody has snipers. I'm like, bam! Then they steal their sniper. <laughs> Let me ask you, do you get epic moments in Call of Duty? No, I get more epic moments in Battlefield 4 than I do in Call of Duty. And that's and that's why I like Battlefield 4 so much, is because you get epic moments in Battlefield 4 that you won't in any other game. I, I've, I've had epic moments in in, uh, which one? in Black Ops and Black Ops 2. I've made clips online about it, and they're pretty, in my opinion, they're pretty funny. I'm talking about like epic moments where you shoot a jet you know, from a tank, like, so far away. Those are epic moments to me, man. Yeah. I love those epic moments. I just yeah. like the, the blind nade. I, I had one where it was just a blind nade, and someone shot him. No, 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 this is the this is the actual what happened. Where It's actually Newtown. We're coming around the corner. I go to throw a, a blind grenade, dink someone in the head. He downs someone. Uh, my teammate kills him. He go, The guy goes into last stand and kills him. He goes back to respawn. My grenade lands where he's about to spawn. Explodes. Two kills. Perfect. (laughs) That's fantastic. See, that's epic moments to me. There was another one where I jumped over... uh, I was on the second story. I jumped over a pair of stairs, and I, like, body slammed someone, and I shot him on the way down, like, from head all the way down to, like, legs. I thought that was pretty cool. Nice. Uh, man, don't get me wrong. You know, I've had my good shares of Call of Duty moments too, man. I just, I like Battlefield 4 a whole lot better mm-hmm. for its moments. The next game that I've been playing just recently was uh, Warframe. I know it's an older game. It was a launch on Battlefield, on uh, PS4, but I think that's a pretty, pretty good game that's too. That's the one with the Robo Ninjas, right? Yep. Okay. It's a, it's a, I guess you call it a play, free to play but they always call them pay-to-win type of games where you pay to upgrade your guys. <laughs> yeah, well, there's there's two ways about that game develops. Isn't it that you just play a whole bunch and you could eventually unlock stuff to buy stuff inside the in-game store? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or you pay, or you play pay immediately to get your upgrades at an earlier shot. So yeah, so when you pay, you get you know the higher upgrades, which is a downfall to people that don't you know that don't pay for stuff because those guys are like they got tons of badass armor, epic weapons. Why it takes you maybe two, three, four hours before you can get that epic gun that you want. That's the only thing that. So it's it's kind of like Planet Side. Uh, I don't know if any of y'all played Planet Side two yet. Yeah, I did. Uh, you know, it takes you forever to level up to get that you know one gun that you want, but if you pay. You can just unlock it for all your classes. See, that's why I stopped playing Planet Side, because I liked it. It looked really pretty on my computer. And then I'm like, oh, it takes so long to unlock shit. <laughs> well, here, here's a good thing about Warframe that I like, that the that free-to-play model kind of works, that they give you the game for free. People forget that you're playing the game already for free, and then you whatever you want to buy is less than the $60 price tag for a full game. True. Yep. True. So if you put that into perspective, you're only paying like four or five bucks, maybe six bucks to get the class that you want and just own up to people that way. Which makes me wonder, is that going to also uh, roll over into H1Z1? Probably. So it's going to be a, if you want a so-called assault rifle in the game, you know, at early, you're going to have to pay for that? Probably. Um, like, from what I hear about H1Z1, though, you're better off playing DayZ. Oh, really? Yeah. Man, <laughs> I just thought since it's coming from the guys that make Planet Side Two, you know, the the engine itself is so beautiful, and I was hoping that the game itself would be as beautiful too. Well, that's what they said. They said it's really pretty, but it's just it's it's either it's desolate or you're mod by zombies. There's no middle ground right now. Horrible. <laughs> and Daisy, I I I need to find a group to play Daisy with because it freaks me out when I play by myself. I'm forever paranoid. Well, it's because all you're doing is just walking around solo waiting for somebody to shoot you in the head. I know. <laughs> and I found some good shit. I found a shovel. I found a motorcycle helmet. I found bottles of water. <laughs> so now Are I'm you right playing? Now. You're just a beacon to be robbed. That's why I don't play with you. You're like, hey, I found this. I found this. And here's you just carrying <laughs> shit through the forest. We were talking about my Skyrim <laughs> kleptomania and my m- mass murderer tendencies. My homes. <laughs> <sighs> I was doing it again today. <laughs> <laughs> Putting people in chairs and shit after I kill them. Like, so nothing happened. Just nothing to see here. Just like a, a wax museum. museum. Like a wax <laughs> museum. Walk away. Walk away. <laughs> meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, I stole all their cheese. Oh. <laughs> and beans. Yep. <laughs> cheese and beans. Cheese, cheese and beans are the best combination. <laughs> that guy comes out of the house and he's all gassy and he's trying to figure out why everyone's dead. <laughs> what happened here? Lactose somebody intolerance. Fucking, somebody fucking farted in here. <laughs> Lactose intolerance killed everyone. <laughs> they're, right. they're just sleeping upside. All right, so prototype, what have you been playing? Uh, actually, I haven't had time to play anything, but... I did buy Transistor last night. Have you okay. checked it out yet? I haven't even launched it. Honest to God, I haven't even what? launched it. I need to. I need to. I think as soon as this podcast is over, I'm going to say, fuck sleep for about 30 minutes and play the game. Yeah, I got to pick that up. Uh, I bought Transistor. I'm still rolling through Child of Light. Which is coming out on Vita. They just announced the Vita release. makes me angry because I should have waited on that. Oh. Womp womp. Yeah. But anyway, um, playing that, and then that's about it. I think I'm going to come to a street and halt until Watch Dogs comes out. Yeah, next week. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. I'm gonna waiting, hack waiting. Get out of you. <laughs> Me in a taco truck. <laughs> Hacking. Are you going to, Mike, are you going to be picking that up? Yes, I will. Yes, I will. On what system? I'm... Good, sir. PS4. Yeah. Um, I did tell you that I am building a new PC, so I will be also buying it for PC, too. Me, too. I'm waiting for the Steam sale. Because <laughs> you know that shit's going on fire sale this summer. I, oh, it's a fire sale. Um, I have a feeling that it's going to go on on the Steam sale come the wintertime. Really? You don't think it's going to be even a little bit in the summertime? Nah, not one bit. No. I think so. I think Ubisoft is holding on to their their pocket buddy on they're that. Gonna, they're going to try. 
I bet you if if they don't have it on a, on the sale, Amazon will have it on PC download sale because they do that shit too. Yep, that's true. And then Steam. I really, like, oh, yes, too. But did they do that with Assassin's Creed last year? As soon as, okay, so maybe my speculation's way off. Yeah, but then again, Assassin's Creed comes out in the fall usually, so by the time summer sale rolls around, it's just like three dollars. Yep. But it hasn't showed up on the winter sale. It has, but it's never like a huge discount. It's always like maybe five, ten bucks off. Or five, ten percent off. Yeah. Me. Yeah. So what have I been playing? Since you haven't been playing shit. I've been playing Trials Fusion. Which on is on PS4. Okay. And Trials Frontier on my phone. Because <laughs> it's fun. It's You've been I, playing I, Trials everywhere. <laughs> I have been. I like Trials. It's a, it's a fun game. It's kind of like Excite Bike esque. I can't make a track to save my life because that part's not like Excite Bike. There's no <laughs> fucking S crap to put down. You know what game really? Oh, I was really stoked about and ended up being a good. Oh no, a really bad flop. What? Was Joe Danger? We that we oh, were all speculating like that Joe was going to be. It's fun. We like Joe Danger, but we were speculating that it'd be a huge, like, it's sight bike, and we were all yeah. going to get on it and stuff, and, like, I have not seen a community on the game. Mm-mm. I have on the phone. Well, I have Joe Danger on the phone, and I have it on the PS3, so, huh, it's all right. And, of course, I've been playing Infinite Crisis, which I just learned a little pro tip. Any Raptor user out there, I just found out. Um, for those that don't know, Raptor offers a reward program when you play certain games and hit certain levels of things. I didn't realize I had 2,800 Raptor points sitting there. And you can actually buy the Joker and his Arkham Origins skin for 250 points. So if you're playing Infinite Crisis, there's a free way to get Joker. Plus you can get free Poison Ivy when you like him on Facebook. Plus you get free Gaslight Batman when you finish part one of the tutorial. So three free characters. Nice. So that's good. Um, I've been murdering people and arranging their houses in Skyrim. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> You're like, like the OCD killer, like, yeah, oh man, this is really dirty. <laughs> it really is. I'm like Dexter. <laughs> You're like the, the family guy made, and like you kill, and they're like, oh no, 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 no. He's he oh. not here. <laughs> no murder here. <laughs> Anybody... I- Anybody play Castle Wolfenstein yet? No. I might pick it up this weekend. I'm not sure yet. Have Have you picked it up? No, I haven't. I've been watching videos of it, and I think I might have to pick it up myself, man. Yeah, I heard it's amazing. I heard it's really, really good, which I, makes me happy because I love the Wolfenstein series. I, 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 all right, go ahead, man. The 360 version, I don't know. I played it, and I wasn't really too happy with it. I, I felt like it was, it fell short just a little graphically and yeah. gameplay-wise. Well, they tried to shoehorn in the next-gen version on the 360 and the PS3, and it's just... They said the versions to play are the PC and the next-gen versions. Don't so, play the originals, or the 360 and the PS3. So I'm gonna, I guess I'm going to have to go with the newer one. Uh, from what I've seen, the graphics kind of look pretty good. Mm-hmm. I, I think this game is doing so well because there's nothing in the genre right now to go up and go against that kind of FPS. Yeah, there's not a fun yeah. first-person shooter. There's, I mean, the last time I was seeing that kind of gore and people were claiming that it's really, really fun, Shadow Warrior came and gone really, really quick. But I yeah. see that kind of that fun in gameplay. Um, what was the game before that? I mean, the the trends now have been horror first-person shooters. Yep. Borderlands. 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 That was I, I find online that more of the RPG epic yeah. trail. It's not so much of busting down the door and shooting everyone in the face. Because even Killzone wasn't like a fun first person shooter. That was still no, was so serious. <sighs> it really was like serious to a fault. Like I just I liked it. It was pretty, and it looked like a next gen title. But I, gameplay wise, it just wasn't grabbing me. Did the gameplay feel kind of slow to you? It did and stiff. That's that's how it felt to me. Every time I felt like I was running, I felt like I just had too much bulk on me. <laughs> like, like your pockets were <laughs> wheels. Like, like I had too many bullets in my pocket, and I had to stop and throw all my bullets out. <laughs> You're just shooting for no apparent reason. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna empty my pocket. It, it's like it's like playing Fallout in hardcore, where the ammo even has weight too. That sucks. Yeah. That's the. I really wish idea. you could just throw ammo at something. 
Which doesn't make sense either. You just might as well shoot it. No, I want I want to throw bullets in the fat boy. Then you would be Neil. <laughs> True. Um, yeah, that's why. And then uh, what else? Oh, Infinite Crisis, of course. I said I've been playing and Broforce. I've dived back into Broforce. Have they updated that? Oh. Not yet. Okay. But I introduced Victoria to Broforce because you know she's addicted to Super Meat Boy. Okay. At first, she didn't quite get it, and then she loved it. Okay, Mike, have you heard about Broforce? No, I haven't, sir. Need to get it. Broforce is a side scroller 16 bit shoot 'em up. Not even 16, it's 4 bit. Four. <laughs> There's more than four colors on the screen. <laughs> All right, eat that. I, I give it like the Sega Genesis kind of look. Okay. Okay. Um, a little like, but really, really pixelated. <laughs> Um, but it's a side scroller. But all the characters are from '80s and '90s bro hero action heroes. So you have like Conan; they call him Bronan. Um, <laughs> Neo's in there. Uh, who else? Ashley Williams from Evil Dead. Uh, MacGyver, the Boondock Saints. Um, Jay from Men in Black. Robocop. Robocop. They call George him Bronan. Dredd. George Dredd, Mr. T. Ripley, she's the only female, bro. <laughs> Ripley. Yeah. yeah, you you need to if once you get your PC up and running, you need to play this game, dude. It That's is fantastic. fantastic. Yeah, and that must be a must download. A yes. yes. I played it at PAX and was instantly hooked. It's 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 fun. I we haven't played multiplayer yet on that. No, it's still like alpha, not. I know it's in early access, so. Yeah, so that's good. All right. Let's see. What else do we have to talk about this week? Well, we brought up Watch Dogs. There is some um, free items or exclusive items you can get from Watch Dogs for consoles only. If okay. you, I'm going to throw this out there. If you text Watch Dogs to 89800, mm-hmm. um, then you enter a code on watchdogs.monsterenergy.com, you get a free uh, MP412 Rex revolver. I don't even know what you're talking about. It's a gun. That's all I know. <laughs> you get a free gun if you put in the code. Sounds beastly. Yeah. I thought you were going to say you get an MP4 player for your character. I'm like, that'd be awesome. And then you could hack people with it. <laughs> I can't wait for that game. Oh, did you hear what happens if you try to play it offline? What? You lose all your notoriety. What? It's a feature that if you don't play the game connected online so other people can jump in your game and shit, basically all your skills get reset. Whoa. There's Wait. A big, there's a big the... warning that comes up that says going in offline mode, um, you can't participate in online this, that, the other thing, and all of your notoriety goes back to zero and your skills are reset. Would you like to continue? So <laughs> that, that raises a problem for me. Yep. It's that whole, what if you don't have internet? Yep. What if, uh, you know, your your internet's down, you, you can't get online, There's the servers are down, something. Something that's not in your, in your range to take over, to mm-hmm. control. That means you can't play Watch Dogs. That's some bullshit. That's dumb. Yeah. That's what developers wanting you to stay online. Absolutely. I'm going to look up just so I make sure I have the right story, because I'm pretty sure that's what I read today. That That's the NSA saying that you need to play our games. Yep. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, there it is. You won't experience hectastic blah, blah, blah. blah. Where's that? I want to see the actual um, warning message, but... Oh, there it is. Watch drugs to punish offline gamers. Uh, okay. Disabling online invasions, you will not be able available for players to invade. You will also not be able to participate in online hacking and tailing. Your notoriety will be reset to zero, and any notoriety skills you have unlocked will be lost. Do you want to disable online invasions? Yes or no? Lame. <laughs> I think that's a remnant of the always online Xbox One. I think that's just a feature they decided not to take out, and they want to try it out and see what happens. So... D- Hmm. Well, what do you think about that, Mike? What I think, I think that's dumb. You should you shouldn't be punished just because you're playing offline. You should, you know, you should be able to play the game however you want to play the game. 
That's but my, I, my thoughts. I wonder if those skills, if you're just playing online, only connotate to the people that you're playing online with. Like it, like it doesn't affect your character skills core to the story, but if you have these skills to play online with, you kind of need them. Like you could find another person 10% faster or, um, I don't know, your, your getaway, your hacked getaway cars that you have on online mode move faster. Like if they're only connotative to the online features. I don't know. I, I don't like the way that sounds. Though. I don't like that future. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hacking everything in the world. That's A-OK, but playing that offline? Wait. No, I don't like it. Yeah, you shouldn't be punished to play a game offline. I, I, I don't know about that. That's well, like playing GTA Online yeah. offline. <laughs> it's called single player, asshole. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no, because I want to use my girl in offline mode, but I have to well, play online. Like playing in the room. Do you gain anything for just playing it offline? That's the thing. Like That's what I'm wondering. If the online skills and your notoriety are only cognitive to the online gameplay, then you're not really losing anything if you just play it offline. Yeah, true that. I guess we don't know the notoriety skills yet, so it's all up in the air. Yeah. One of the skills like, maybe jump off a building and land in a bucket of hay. <laughs> it's it, No, it's going to be a dumpster in Chicago. <laughs> I want it to be a dumpster just filled with foam, but you still get the bird sound effect. This <laughs> is... <laughs> <laughs> and all, all the the slow mo dive too, the jump and the hail, the the Christ air kind of look, and then yes. that's all I need. I I don't care if it's even just for a one off gag. I need it. I, cause I know it's Assassin's Creed. I know I, it is. <laughs> if there's gonna be an Al- Alistair outfit, I, I bet you ten bucks it's there. Yes. No, I hope not Alistair. That's that's different. That's, that's Britney's game. Me speaking of which, happy birthday, Britney. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> no, because Facebook was telling me it was her birthday one day, then it was telling me it was her birthday another day. I'm like, I'm so confused. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway. But yeah, I need to see... I want his outfit to look like freaking Connor Kenway at one point. It has to. I'm convinced it's Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Have you? Did you play any of the... Uh... Assassin's Creed games? Yeah, I played I played pretty much all of them. I've actually beaten every Assassin's Creed game yep. except for Liberation. I and tried. you own a white Vita. I do. <laughs> I own the white supremacy Vita with the, with the <laughs> Assassin's Creed Liberation game. But I just, I couldn't... Every time I play that game, I start getting sleepy. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just weird. Alright, moving on. Um, another highly anticipated game got super delayed. Oh. Tom, <laughs> Tom Clancy's The Division. No. Yep. No, 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 no. It was supposed to come out late 2014. Now they're saying it may not even make it to 2015. Your so, thoughts, JD. Your thoughts. I think it's coming second Christmas. Like ne- January 2016? No, 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 no. Like January, uh, February 2015. I think it's gonna come second Christmas. They, mm, I don't know. I, I just, I don't. Honestly, I don't care about the division. I want a new Rainbow Six game. I want. A, I want a new Rainbow Six game too, man. Rainbow Six, my favorite. Rainbow <laughs> Six page. Can somebody please tell me what happened to Rainbow Six Patriots? I'm pretty sure it became the Division. I'm with you. <laughs> Just like Watch Dogs is the next version of Assassin's Creed. I, I, need, I need flashbangs in my life. All we got was just a trailer for Patriots, and that was pretty much it, and it's disappeared. It hasn't been said. There's nothing out there. Well, they, they they said they, they what was it that Was it that game, or was it a... Uh... Was it the other one that they said they, they tested it and it just did not work? Yeah, and they said they were retooling it for next-gen systems. And that was that was Patriots? Yeah, that was, that? that was Patriots. Okay. So that was the last I heard about it, was that they were like, nope, 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 nope. Because we had a lot of Ghost Recon games on the last-gen systems and no Rainbow Six games other than Vegas and Vegas 2. Vegas was the shit. 
Vegas was the shit. And uh, even when uh, you tried to scan your face in with the Xbox camera and your face looked terrible, it was still. <laughs> Fuck that! I was like, I'm already bald. Fuck this! I'm gonna put a hat on. <laughs> <laughs> I miss a Rainbow Six Days. Me too. Awesome. If Rainbow Six comes out, you'll have to play with me and JD because we're the best. Oh, for sure, for sure. Oh, my God. World one to fist and elbows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, God, and it just stresses me out. <laughs> Go ahead. Tell them what happens when we play. If I haven't told this a million and a half times on the show. But it's entertaining. For you. <laughs> so me and Andrew used to play, and I used to play... On my brand new 32 inch TV, which was bigger than my fucking 12 inch GX TV that I used to have. GX TV. So I'm playing, we're playing Rainbow Six. It's dark as shit. And me and him are playing, oh, it was a terrorist hunt. Yeah. So we're rolling through the level and everything, and I was like, Ninja, I'm going to snake him the door. So I go over it and I mark the snake, uh, which were they all at? In the middle of him doing that, mind you, when you're in snake cam, you're in night vision mode. You snake the door. He kicks the door open, throws a flashbang, and continues to shoot everyone. I don't even know what's going on because <laughs> now it's double flash time when you're blind. And incinerary. <laughs> yeah, and he throws incinerary nades. I, I gain reconsciousness because now my eyes, my real-life <laughs> eyes, are on fire for playing in the dark. And... Uh, yeah, he's like, oh yeah, everyone's dead, and I'm there. I'm there, the asshole in the corner, shooting the shotgun, and running into place. He's like the kid that end the Blair Witch, <laughs> looking in the corner. That oh, was great. Well, so, we kicked ass. <laughs> you, and you always wonder, hey, I'm out of ammo. I wonder why. Find ammo. <laughs> Find ammo from the blood of my victims. And then arrange them in, in fancy movies. <laughs> so the division. Yes. It will. will it, it'll come out soon. Sometime. Will, is it going to be at E3? I think it's going to make a huge appearance in E3. You think? I, I think, think if they delayed it, I don't think it's going to make much of an appearance at all. They might mention it. I think they're going to show a, a pretty big trailer on it. Will it be a playable I demo? I, I no, I don't. I don't think it's going to be a playable demo. I think that just they're just going to keep the hype generator up, just to keep the game relevant. It's going to be stick figures. <laughs> it's, it's going to be like, <laughs> oh look at this guy right here, and you can you can play with him on your iPad from here, and just <laughs> oh no, I forgot about the Watch Dogs app. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to fuck up your game <laughs> when I'm at work. Oh, so we work at the same times. All of us work at the same time. Oh, yeah. Shit. <laughs> yep. All right. I'll just pick up your game from the bathroom <laughs> while I'm doing work. You do realize you have more free time to play than I do. Not really. So, dude, I've watched you log into Infinite Crisis six in the morning. Yes, that's true. After the kids go to school, sometimes I go to Infinite Crisis. How are you stalking <laughs> me at six in the morning? <laughs> because it shows up on your Raptor, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's why I don't turn those notifications on because it just fucking tells everyone what you're doing. Listen, sometimes people need to play Infinite Crisis after a hard night of sleeping. I'm gonna screenshot every time you that post is up that you play Infinite Crisis, and I'm gonna send it to you, and you'll post it up on the Ninjaverse Tumblr. <laughs> every time. <laughs> Infinite Crisis Watch 2014. Listen, I'm getting re actually. I according to Raptor. I've played that for something like 40 hours. In a day? No, not in a day. Yeah. True story. In a day. <laughs> All right. Moving on. Stop picking on me. Um, so, we, Mike, we brought you on the show because you, you sir, have brought excellent points when, um, when I was talking to you earlier about the Xbox One. Yeah. Um. What, what what's your take on the whole connectless life now that you have the option for a connect? Now that you you were or you were an am an Xbox One owner. Okay, so my point was is with the connect you have the Xbox dashboards, which is I feel is one of the most horrible dashboards boards out there, I'm sorry. <laughs> um 
with that in mind, you, using the controller to navigate through the Xbox dashboard is it's so difficult. You have to go from one button to another button just to get to your friends list when it's so so streamless just to to say Xbox friends. So I think with the Xbox Connect being out, it's it's a must have. You need it. You know, for people that are just gonna pay the three ninety nine just for the Xbox, I think you still need to connect just just for the user interface for the dashboard. Yeah, but do you think now that the connect isn't going to be required that they might redesign the dashboard? Yeah, I think they will. But, you know, I don't know if that's going to be part of the, you know, upcoming updates. Uh, till then, you know, just using the buttons just to navigate through the dashboard, I think it's 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 a pain. I I've, I think they're going to put a, a, a different microphone system and connecting to your controller. Imagine you, I imagine just having just a microphone connected to your controller itself where you could still yell out the commands, but have no connect. Hmm. Uh, maybe. Well, you can do that like with the PS4. If you have your microphone yeah. plugged into the controller, you could talk to it. And I, yeah. I didn't realize that at first. Yeah, I, I wondered why every time I said PlayStation, my 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 PlayStation was like, oh, Hello. you want to play? What, what, what do you want to play next? <laughs> Sir, you said my name. <laughs> I'll, t- I'll tell you right now. I'm going to document it right here at 11:38 p.m. on May 21st. If the Xbox Connectless One goes back to the blades, I'm buying it. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best system, the the best UI you could actually get for an Xbox was the Blade system. Just like I said with the original original Xbox, I'm not buying it till they turn it green. I didn't buy it till they turned it green and it came with Halo. So if they if they go back to the Blade system on the Xbox One, I will totally buy it. That how first. funny would it be if be like here here's our new Xbox One system. You know, with all these key features that everyone wanted, and it looks like the original Xbox system. <laughs> <laughs> with that big circle in the middle that you thought yeah, you could big... use as a cup holder? Yeah, you thought you could actually push that as the power button? I tried that the first time. I didn't know. Yeah, neither did I. I was, I was, working, with... I was working on Electronics Fatigue at the time. I'm like, hey, turn this shit on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, felt like, I felt like it was like a monkey trying to, like, looking at a monolith, just like, <laughs> that was the worst weekend ever because the Xbox came out on that Friday and then the GameCube came out that Sunday. Oh, that was terrible. It's it wasn't was it worse than Black Friday's? It was just as bad as Black Friday in that store because it was in Mammoth Mall. I remember that store. <laughs> it was in Mammoth Mall. You probably came in there while I was working. <laughs> I probably I probably did. Yeah. I, that's. I remember the last game that I bought there was X Men Mutant Academy for PlayStation One. Fuck yes. I remember that game. Oh, I saw you, mosquito motherfucker. <laughs> Fucking missed. Tried to kill it with a 2K coaster. Not a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> so. So you are in. Uh, so going back to the, the Xbox One, do you, how do you feel about both systems now? Now that the systems are now on almost a level playing field, in my in my in my views of it, now that you know the Xbox Live Gold subscription has changed to be more applicable for for people to play uh, to use apps without Xbox Live for games with gold where players actually get games with it for having that kind of subscription and comparatively to the PlayStation uh, PlayStation Network kind of systems where you're actually getting that already. Um, how do you feel about the both systems hand-in-hand hand on different playing fields? How do you... Do you have any buyer's remorse? Would you feel one more or the other? Or No, I... You know, I enjoy my PlayStation 4 more than I do my Xbox One. Um... I don't know, I just feel like my PS4 is just, the user interface is just so more simpler to me. Um, And I still think this is, and again, I'm probably going to get a lot for this, but I still think it's the more powerful machine out of the two. That's my opinion. I agree with you. You know why? Because the PS4 is a gaming machine. Yeah. It's games first, everything else second. Xbox One started, everything else first, and oh yeah, it plays games. Yeah, and then it took the updates to... Get you where you're at now. 
Mm-hmm. And six months of changes, which we talked about last week, and we're not going to rehash again. No. And oh. everything... Go ahead. Everything that they're doing right now should have been day one. Plain and simple. Is, I think that was the most tweets to Xbox One when they did all those changes. It was like, this was supposed to happen six months ago. <laughs> yep. It, Where were and, you? And and then, yeah, you know, they're probably, the Xbox sales probably would have been higher than the PS4s. But, you know, that, oh. that, should, that should have happened day one. Okay, so based on the two systems that they are right now, imagine if this was... Xbox's perfect world where they did all these changes on day one. Now you're looking at the doorstep between a PlayStation 4 and an Xbox One. How would you feel about purchasing one or the other? Uh, then I would go to hardware, and I and the hardware is still, still on PS4. PS4, and what about the being motivated by games? Now that now that's gonna take a turn because I think the lineup for the Xbox One games were a lot stronger than the PS4 games. You know, okay. Rise and Dead Rising, all those games were phenomenal games right off the back. And the PS4, I believe it only had Killzone and Knack. Yeah, Knack. I haven't even played Knack. I've so, I bought Lego Marvel Superheroes, which was super super fun. I still haven't played that. It's so worth it, dude. But when it came when it came to launch titles, I still think the Xbox One had it. You know, they they had all the launch titles, and you know, I probably then would have gone Xbox One just because of all the launch titles that came out. Mm. If if the price point was still at three ninety nine or three ninety nine ninety nine. Yeah. So the the other question I always also ask too, with the, a lot of the I don't want to say flip flopping or reneging on their their rules of PlayStation of of Xbox One. Did did you think that swayed your decision when it came to purchasing this purchasing the system? Do you think you would have purchased it with the old school rules that they had on there, or now what the Xbox One is now? I probably would have purchased it with, I guess now. I think I think it was a price point on my terms. Price you point know, on your terms, okay. When when I saw three ninety nine on the PS four, I was like, so. But again, but again, it was also hardware. That's another thing, you know. You know, hardware to me, I looked at the specs, and I, I still feel that PS4 might have a slight advantage over the Xbox. Again, that's my opinion. And you know, anyone could say, you know, hardware is only only going to take you so far. But if you're really thinking about this grand scheme of things, the the grand scope of the whole system. The PlayStation 3 is still performing well under what it is. The Xbox 360 is actually chugging along, trying to keep up. Even the UI is a little bit laggy trying to, to navigate through it. Mm-hmm. I mean, both of the systems are on their last leg, but the PlayStation 3, I think, is built to be lasting longer. Are you going to look at that with the new Xbox One and, and PlayStation 4? The Xbox, uh, PlayStation 4, I think... Uh, PlayStation was saying this themselves that they're building this to last ten years. Another another PlayStation Two era. Absolutely. So I mean, w- when you say hardware, that's the only thing I could think of is, you know, it's it's okay, great now, but is it going to be okay, great ten years from now? And that's the only as good as the hardware is going to give you. How many uh, did you buy the first time around? I bought one and went through four. Yeah. I think I went through about four or five Xbox 360s. JD? Yeah. He's counting. He's Sega. got a couple digits. <laughs> no. <laughs> I remember my first one, my first one red ringed. The second one was about to red ring, and I sold that before I can. And then I got another one that had, it, I needed an HDMI port, so I shifted to that. And then the Elite came out. No, I case mounted it. That red ringed on me because yeah, of, the Chrome. <laughs> it was my system was all Chrome, in out the tray, everything chromed, hotter than I the remember, sun. I remember that. One. <laughs> it had lights in it too. I, I was all all about it too. Um, that one red ringed on me. And <laughs> because it and burned on me inside out. <laughs> the sun. Exactly. It warmed my feet quite well. <laughs> Hot. Yeah. Um, and then I got an Elite. So what are we at? Four now? Five? Five. 
Five of the Elite, Modern Warfare 3, that's six. And I, I sold my Modern Warfare, yeah, that's six. My Gears one was the last one. The Gears of War 3 one. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, I mean, I think those are inflated numbers when, you, when you're pricing out Xbox 360 success. I think those are a little inflated just because of the, you know, the failure rate that it had. How many systems people had to buy? <laughs> exactly. Uh, well, going back to going back to Wolfenstein really, really, really quick. I just found out <laughs> there's a level in it that it's the old school graphics with the new school hands and gun. That's kind oh. of funny looking. It looks oh. like a South Park episode. Doesn't really. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that just moved it to purchase. I'm looking up the Metacritic score right now. Of what Wolfenstein? Wolfenstein. Nine. It's <laughs> actually uh, the PS4 versions. I actually got a seventy-eight. That's not bad. And the the PC? user score is seven point five. What's the PC version? Uh, also on PC. It should since it is about Nazis. It should be Glorious Master Race PC. Version. It, they're still awaiting on a fourth review. There is no official review. Ah. No meta score based on three reviews, nice. which is. GameStar, GameSpot, and IGN. GameStar gave it an 86, GameSpot gave it an 80, and IGN gave it a 78. So those are very, very good scores. Yep. The user review is 7.5, which 26 has said yay, two people said nay, uh, no, two people said meh, and seven people said nay. Those seven people are Nazis. Yep. The, yeah, they are. <laughs> it's fact. I... <laughs> No, 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 that, sir, that's Surly Gentleman. This, this. <laughs> that was Dirty Sanchez. Is what this. Nine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To, to, to go back to the PS3, and you talked about, uh, you know, hardware. Yeah. Um, you know, I think it, the PS4 will last long. Uh, look at the game The Last of Us. That was one of, its, one of the last good games on PS3, and that game looked so phenomenal. Yep. I and will definitely get it for the PS4 again. The three games I want to monument to PS3 that flew leaps and bounds over the other one was Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider looked phenomenal yep. com compared to, to, to the 360. That's my opinion, of course. Um, PC was better <laughs> with that hair physics. <laughs> yeah, they were already playing the definitive vision, <laughs> the version already. Um, the other one I'll, I want to say is Heavy Rain, just because I, I say Heavy Rain just because of in the middle of its lifespan, the detail and what it's already gone through, and now with Beyond Two Souls over that, from this coming from the same studios, that that's a lot of power going through facial animations and stuff, and feels, similar, yeah. and the feels, and similar to L.A. Noir with the facial kind of stuff, but that's... I think LA Noir really hit middle ground between Xbox 360 and PS and uh, and PS3. I still haven't revisited Heavy Rain. I can't do it. And the other games that I, I want to say is actually the whole Uncharted series. Loved them. Oh. Victory. Oh. I, I I really think they did a beautiful job on all the Uncharted series. I will buy whatever collector's edition of Uncharted 4 comes out. <laughs> You bought the card game, too. I did. I bought the card game. I got the collector's edition of three. I didn't get the collector's edition of one and two because one, I don't think, had one and two. was already greatest hits by the time I got my PS3. So yeah, yeah. Good luck trying to find the, what was it, the developer's special edition? Yeah, Britney has one of those. God, they're going for like $600. I know. But Open. Yeah, whatever collector's edition comes out for Uncharted 4 has my money. That's one of my favorite series. Probably that and Saints Row stands up there as my favorite series from the last gen. I love Saints Row. I'm playing through three again right now on the PC. Because I'm waiting for four to go on the Steam sale. <laughs> then I will buy that shit again. Four was so fun. You got the touch! How about Heavenly Swords? That was a really good game on PS3. I... Uh, 45 I, minutes. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, for, for graphically, for being at 480p, it looked great. 
but I think that was a very, very undercooked game before they were shoving it out the door. I think Sony was pressuring, pressuring them. was like, hey, we need this epic title to be out there. Uh, along with God of War 3, of course. We'll yeah. see a sequel to E3 for Heavenly Sword. Yeah, yeah God, of War, God of War 3 was very cooked. It had a lot of time to, to perfection. Yeah, yeah. God of, I like God of War. Trace. I didn't play Ascension. Right, that was the last one. Got uh, yeah, yeah, I didn't play yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, I didn't play that one. I didn't like the beta for it. I was like, mm. hey, don't get me wrong. I'm not putting no hate against the Xbox One. I still think it's a good system too, man. So we yeah. know where your heart lies. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my my heart really lies a lot on on 360 for the gameplay that we played. You know, the online features that Xbox 360 had. Mm-hmm. We played the shit out of Burnout. And Gears of War, at least I did. Uh, the whole Gears of War franchise I played, and I trudgingly played Judgment. I didn't. Yeah, I told you not to. Nope. I was going to say, Jeremiah, you're like, nope. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. It's it's not even worth, to me, it was not was not even worth the experience. That was like the last Army of Two game. You told me not to buy it, so I didn't. I kind of want to buy it just to have it in the collection. Stop it. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you played the Army Army Two games. Yep. I just like the antics that the two guys have. I love the the chemistry that the two. Uh, that aggro. That that aggro. I never had the aggro. Prototype always. Oh had. shit! <laughs> <laughs> this dude, would, the meter would always be tilted to the left That's at all times. I had diamonds on my guns. <laughs> Fucking jealous. <laughs> Yeah, he had he had the, the you know the player's choice gun where it had diamond encrusted grenades, and and everything. And here I am with a P90 and a fucking soda <laughs> soda can silencer. Cat on the front. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had diamond encrusted grenades. Shot diamonds. All yeah. right, we're, we're okay. moving away from everything. Yeah. We are. We're all over the place tonight. Yeah, I blame you. Lies. <laughs> All right. Uh, Chuck E. Cheese has a new edition. <laughs> oh, yeah. Great segue. <laughs> Not mechanical toys anymore. No. Um, the Ocul- you said something about the Oculus Rift is going to be a Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> yeah. It, it's going to be a part of their virtual reality ticket grabber game. That is a whole nightmare fuel full of things you don't want. <laughs> Just imagine this kid wearing like this I don't know, this face mask of a mask of a face. It looks like it probably will look like Chuck E. Cheese. And you're five like, different Oculuses <laughs> trapped in this box and there's nothing there and you see this kid going rampant trying to grab that nothing is there. Like that kid needs some Ritalin. <laughs> oh I don't yeah, I, I, and just imagine the snot that's going to be on the inside of that Oculus Rift. Yeah, good luck. Everyone's going to get pink eye. Guaranteed. <laughs> yeah, it is. So this is, this is a, a quote from the Chuck E. Cheese reps over there. Our challenge is to deliver an experience not available at home. And there is no doubt virtual reality does, that just, does just that. The Oculus Rift technology has, is the next frontier gaming in the in gaming industry. I can't read. And we're thrilled to be able to say that it's a part of the Chuck E. Cheese lineup. I want somebody to put somebody in an Oculus Rift in the middle of the ball pit. Sir, it is the first units are going to be located across the country along with Dallas, San, San Diego, and Orlando. Sir, Mike, we have a road trip to have. Going to <laughs> Dallas. I want to come. Going to Dallas. It's nah. going to be two fucking grown-ass men sitting at a fucking Chuck E. Cheese. Actually, they do not let you into Chuck E. Cheese unless you have a kid with you. Hey, you guys. I got kids. I got kids. We'll we'll bring two of them with (laughs) me. Hey, kids, we're going to Chuck E. Cheese so I can play with the virtual reality shit. It's going to be a four hour trip to Chuck E. Cheese. (laughs) For some cardboard pizza. Actually, their pizza's pretty delicious. You lie. Stop it. No. No, their pizza's pretty good. You know what? (laughs) Two out of three members over here say that it's bad. I mean, it's nothing compared to Jersey pizza, but for fast food. No. How are you going to be like, 
No, it's nothing compared to Jersey. You live in Jersey, and you're still making Chuck E. Cheese pizza acceptable. No, as as far as fast food fast food pizza goes, it's okay. Like I would rank it: Domino's, Chuck E. Cheese, Pizza Hut. Oh, man. Because Pizza Hut. I'm surprised you didn't put Sbarro's somewhere in the middle. Oh my god, I forgot about Sbarro's. <laughs> All right, that's tied for first for Domino's. <laughs> This is this is exactly the top notch reason why I'm fat. <laughs> this no. is what I had when working at the mall. That burger I had. <laughs> that stupid burger. That burger was fucking delicious and you know it. I didn't eat anything of it. You could see the delicious coming off of it. <laughs> You're just stupid. <laughs> uh, Alright, I think we're pretty okay. much done though. Do we got anything else? Um, uh, the Xbox One update is going to be coming pretty soon in June. It allows you to actually have external storage support as well as recognizing people by their real names. Is there blades? No, it looks like more care. window crap. <laughs> <laughs> then I don't care. Um, there's going to be more integration with the smart grass. Uh, smart grass. Smart grass. <laughs> smart glass. <laughs> just smart foliage everywhere. No, smart glass. Uh, presumably. And you could actually be like re- remote control through Xbox yeah. finds your wo- your local weed dealers, man. You know, you know, it would help it a lot if they mirrored the if they had oh, which one call like the remote play just for your tablets. And that would help a lot for Xbox. Yeah, yeah. If it was more text t- touch technology, you I can't, can't even talk. talk. What is the matter with you? I am total sense making. You're right a now. fucking drunk. <laughs> I only had, like, one drink. <laughs> Can I have four beers? <laughs> so, I mean... It, I guess if it, it, a world without Connect, they're really pushing the smart glass? I'm, uh... Yeah, since I don't have the Xbox One, I do have the smart glass when I had my Xbox One. It was a pretty amazing app. I won't lie. I use it with uh, my 360. Yeah, it's it's uh well the 360 version compared to the Xbox One version is a little different. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's I tell you what, uh, I know Sony has their own little uh, app for their PlayStation. It's garbage. It it's is garbage. garbage. It is <laughs> so garbage compared to the Xbox I will say One version. That pretty terrible. It, it, the, that app is garbage. The only thing that is really good for is sending messages and pictures from my phone in Ninja. Yep. <laughs> you can what? On the uh, on the glass, you can watch your uh, uploaded videos that you have from, you know, from what you recorded. That's cool. If, yeah. if that's your if that's your thing. <laughs> the last time I used Smart Glass was watching the bullshit video game awards that were on TV, and you were able to interact and vote for them down to the minute. I watched I that on my PS3. It was. I terrible. watched that on my Xbox. It was terrible. <laughs> Reggie was going to punch somebody. Jeff Healy <laughs> was going to knock the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was last E3. No. At the video game where Jeff Keeley was trying to get some shit out of him about Wii U sales when they were trying to demo something. He's like, Jeff, I'm not talking about that right now. Oh, he did. <laughs> My, that, that picture I said to you. My body is ready. <laughs> Reggie. Reggie always has a smile. I want Reggie at E3 to just be like, you know what? Now I work for Sony. You know, Reggie <laughs> has his big face and tiny lips, but he has a big old smile. It, it's like a... like I, I'd send him a message. It looks like someone boiled a action figure head and his face deflated into it just a little bit, but his face is really, really puffy. It's like an expired pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we're pretty much done. We've insulted Reggie enough. He's going to falcon punch our show. He's never going to find our our stuff online. The Wii U doesn't go online like a, like the rest of this. <laughs> oh, you know what? We oh. should mention that they cut off the Wi-Fi Connect for the original Wii and the Nintendo DS. So all of your online games. Obsolete. Yep. And they're going to announce a new 3DS. <laughs> they're going to put the 3D back in it. It's not going to look like a leapfrog anymore. <laughs> I don't even see that 2DS for sale anymore. It, it's still selling. Is it really? Yeah. The, 
axe handle of, of, of the system. <laughs> it's terrible. You can use it to wedge up a car. It's selling in Japan. Yeah, it, it's still selling like hotcakes. I don't know. I can't get. I can't get into the DS. I can't. No, don't do all, it. All That's them hard. Pokemon's. I can't. That's I would. Hard. I would rather be playing my Game Gear. Yes. Like my Nomad. <laughs> my friend back in the day had an Atari Lynx. He was the shit. The only thing that I wanted to play on the Atari Lynx was Bonk. Yep. Well, he had a Turbo Graphics. He got Turbo Graphics and a Lynx for his birthday that year. Oh, so he was an special. asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking eighth grade, fucker. All right, <laughs> now I'm getting angry. <laughs> I want to go play some Infinite Crisis. So, you know where to find us: ninjaverse.wordpress.com, facebook.com/ninjaverse, youtube.com/ninjaverse. Um, Altness, plug it. Yep, the the guys are going to be showing up on the Altness site now. So, altness.com, there is a tab on the top for podcasts, and you can see the other podcasts as well as Hard Dose, and if you like Game of Thrones, that's your bag. There we have a video for you as well. Yes. As well as our friend of the show, Metal Geeks, I want to give them a good plug because we are all going to be attending Comic Palooza this weekend. We actually have a panel from 3 to 4 o'clock about podcasting. Nice. Buy me a present. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good, I can't make it. I'm going to send you pictures of all the people I'm going to get pictures with. Good cosplays. I mean, good yep. That's I'll good. get a picture of what Ivy doing, Kitty. Yes. That sounded extra creepy, so I'm going to go now. So, I'm Will, also known as Avid Ninja. I'm JD, also known as SD Prototype. And our guest... Caspo. Alright, and we'll see you next week.